Browns Chargers week and it is picks time and things to watch time. So Mary Kay, as the Browns get ready for their final game before their week 10 bye, what are you watching? Well, what can Jameis Winston do for an encore after his 334 three TD game last week in that huge upset of the Ravens? Of course, we know that he won AFC Offensive Player of the Week. What do you do after that? Uh, so I know that they're all excited for uh, him to go out there and show what he can do to build on that amazing first performance, first start for the Cleveland Browns. He will have David Njoku. He will have Joel Batonio out there. Jerome Ford is going to be back. So they're pretty healthy going into this game. Now, it's not going to be easy because we know that the Chargers are number one in allowing points this season at only 13 per game. They're amazing in the red zone. They're ninth against the pass. So it could be a stiffer test than what the Ravens offered, but I think they're up for it. Yeah, Jameis Winston, I mean, after that performance that got him, AFC Offensive Player of the Week, undeniably one of the stories of these games. Uh, for my thing to watch, I'm going to go a bit more broad because we have a Jim Harbaugh team coming to town as he makes his return to the NFL. And we know Jim Harbaugh teams are going to try to play some smash mouth football out physical you guys have been talking about it all week i talked to a bunch of his former michigan players who say they recognize those same styles in the chargers right now bubba ventrone talked about it so i really think the key for this browns team is going to be to not let the chargers come in and out physical them on their home turf they're going to have to stay tough and since dan lobby is not here today to record with us we have to do an honorary thing to watch mary Kay, and that is a vibes check for this team absolutely a vibes check in honor of dan who's just a little tiny bit under the weather today but hopefully will be back with us on game day and uh for the dan vibes check let's go to miles garrett who said this game can be a tone setter for the rest of the season if they can go out and win it. If they can get to three to six, this team is really going to start to believe that they can make a run and make those playoffs. I think people kind of chuckled a little bit when they heard Juan Thornhill and some guys talking about making the playoffs after getting to two and six. But when you get to three and six, hey, the Rams did it last year. We're saying there's a chance. And I also thought it was interesting, Miles, today to be so pointed about the fact when you started asking him about trade rumors regarding Zadarius Smith that he is expecting to still play with Zadarius. So they certainly don't sound like a team that has given up just yet. Time to make our picks for this game. Mary Kay, what's your pick? I'll tell you what, I'm bought in. I believe this team can go out and beat this Chargers team. Even though the Chargers are four and three, they're playing really well. Justin Herbert has the best arm talent in the NFL. I think these Cleveland Browns are ready to get back out there at Huntington Bank Field and build on what they did last week and keep this playoff train chugging along. I'm going Browns 27-21. Well, we're not going to have a clean sweep this week, but I'm going to say Dan's pick first because he texted it to us. He's actually going with the Chargers 23-21 in this game, but I tell you his pick now so we can end on the high note because I also think the Browns are going to win this game. I'm picking them 24-18. I think from, as we've learned about the Chargers, they're a tough team, but nothing in particular really impresses me with them so far. It's still early in the season. I'm not particularly amazed by any one of their individual wins. And I think the Browns just have a different energy about them this week after beating the Ravens with Jameis Winston back there at quarterback. So, all right, no clean sweep for the Cleveland.comers this week. We'll see which of us are right and which of us are wrong on Sunday, and we will cover everything that happens in that game and more over at cleveland.com slash Browns.